name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God for all things. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today is certainly a wonderful feast of one of our Lord's most praiseworthy saints, Holy Hierarch and Father Nicholas, Archbishop of Mir and Lycia, known for his wonder workings, known for all his miracles, known for his powerful intercessions before our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. And yes, we certainly do turn to him for help for many things when we travel or perhaps when we've been justly, ju unjustly accused of something, when we are in financial need. But we must also remember all the example that he serves for us, the life that he lived. How we should be striving to emulate how he served the Lord and how he lived his life. We hear in the Treparian, the truth of things revealed thee to thy flock is a rule of faith. St. Nicholas was ever faithful to our Lord, ever obedient. He turned, he desired to enter a life of monasticism, but the Lord told him, this is not where you will glorify my name. This is not the path for you. And he obeyed. And when he had defended the faith when at the First Ecumenical Council, when he had assaulted Arius for his heretical teachings, for his slander, he was stripped of his bishop's robes and put into prison. And yet he remained faithful. But the Lord would not forsake him. And it was revealed to other fathers that he was to remain a bishop by our Lord Jesus Christ himself presenting him a gospel in this vision and the mother of God presenting him as homophoria. And so we have, as I said, we have this example of faith of his service, of his, of his service to his flock, his taking caring for them, and trusting the Lord. And we have his example of humility, heights of humility, riches by poverty. He was born into wealth, but realized that it was, it was not his to keep. It was for him to help others. When he came to the rescue of a man who was wealthy, but had fallen into poverty and did not want his daughters to suffer the same thing, but was willing to sell them into a life of sin, Holy Father Nicholas heard, heard this cry for help, came to his aid, and presented three bags, of, three bags of gold, one for each daughter. And he did this secretly, not openly. Did not want it known that he was the, um, that he was the one that was bringing, bringing these gifts. He was not seeking fame. He was not seeking renown, but did it in secret, as we, all to, as we all ought to be, as much as possible, giving humbly and not wanting to be praised for it. And 
acting in meekness. Again, as we have the example with Holy Father Nicholas, with this wonderful saint. So dear brothers and sisters, let us keep his example in mind as we continue through the fast. Let us remember to be giving of ourselves and trust that the Lord will make up for whatever we, we part with, for whatever, you know, and if it's, whether it's time or money or some other skill, we should be certainly willing to share that and not seek thank you. For our Lord knows what we do. He sees all that we do. And he knows our hearts. So let us emulate this wondrous saint. Let us keep him in mind. When we call to him for help, let us also remember he calls, he calls to us to serve our Lord with faith and love. The blessed Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. God, to the intercessions of his most pure mother, of the holy glorious prophet, for in a baptism of John, and the holy glorious and all praised apostles, of our Father, Mother, Saint.